Hello everyone, here's a question from linear equation of class 8. The question is, solve the following equation also verify your solution. So we have this equation. The saying first solve it and then verify it. Verify means after getting the x value, you have to recheck it if your answer is correct or not. That is your LHS and RHS is same or not. So first we're going to find out the x value. So let us write down the question. We have 5x upon 3 plus 2 by 5 is equal to 1. Now here we have to find out the x value. Uh, so, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first transpose this 2 by 5 to the other side. I'm going to bring all the constants to one side. So it will become 5x upon 3 is equal to 1 minus 2 by 5. Now you can see that 1 is a whole number and 2 by 5 is a fraction or it's like a rational number. So what I'm going to do, this 1, I'm going to write it as 1 upon 1. It is same. I'm just showing you in the form of a fraction. That's it. So here, we're subtracting our two fractions. Uh, so here when you're subtracting them, the denominator has to be same. If you see here, it's not same. Uh, for the first number, we have 1. For second number, we have 5. So we're going to take the LCM of this 2. We're going to make the denominator same. So it will become uh, 1 comma 5 LCM of 1 and 5 is 5. So we have to make denominator 5 here. So this 5x upon 3 will remain same is equal to uh, 1 upon 1 we have, right? So this one we have to change it to 5. So it's like you're finding the equivalent fraction with the denominator 5. So there's a two ways. One is multiplication, one is division. Division, if you do it, you will not get it. We have to multiply because 5 is greater than 1, right? So we have to multiply here. So with what number you should multiply to get 5? It will be 5, right? 1, 5 is a 5. So same 5 you multiply in the numerator. It's same as a finding out the equivalent fraction minus the second number is 2 by 5 already we have 5 in the denominator we don't have to do anything for the second number so here we get 5x upon 3 is equal to 5 upon 5 minus 2 upon 5 right now here we got same denominator so subtract the numerator so it will be 5x upon 3 is equal to 5 minus 2 upon 5 which will be 3. So 5x upon 3 is equal to 3 upon 5. Now we want only x value but we have this 5 and 3 here. We have to transpose this to the other side. If you observe this 5 is in multiplication with x. So when you multiply number which is in multiplication to the other side it comes in division. So this 5 will go to division here. Okay, and this 3 which is in division when you transpose this to other side gonna get it comes in multiplication with the numerator. It's like cross multiplying. So x will be equal to this 3 goes up here like it's in division so it get multiplied when you transpose uh, with the numerator and here this 5 uh, is in multiplication when transport goes to division. So only one 5 is present here. So when you transpose this 5 to the division here it get multiplied with the previous 5. So it will be 5 into 5. So here we get 9 upon 25. So x value we got here. Therefore x is equal to 9 upon 25. Now this we have to verify. We have to substitute this value back in the question. And we have to check if LHS and RHS are equal or not. Okay. So let's substitute it back. So I'm going to erase this thing. Okay. So x value we got it as 9 upon 25. Now we are going to verify here. I am going to take the LHS part left hand side of the equation which is 5x upon 3 plus 2 upon 5 and I have to bring it equal to 1 that is equal to RHS. I am going to substitute this x value which is equal to 9 upon 25. So 5 upon 3 into x. x value is 9 upon 25 right plus 2 upon 5. Now see, instead of multiplying it, we can do cancellation. Here these two numbers, 5 upon 3 and 9 by 25 are in multiplication, right? So we can cancel the numbers here. 5 ones are 5, 5 is a 25. 3 ones are 3, 3 is a 9. So here we got 3 by 5 plus the other number is 2 by 5. So already denominators are 5, so we can add up the numerators directly. So 5 and the numerator will get 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. So 5 by 5. 5 and 5 will get cancelled, we'll get 1 as a answer. And you can see that RHS is also equal to 1, so which is same as the RHS. So therefore, we can conclude that LHS is equal to RHS, which means this equation is verified. Answer what you obtained is correct answer. 
I hope this question is clear. In case you have further questions or doubts, you can leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching.